Good afternoon everybody. Um, it's been a really awesome day in Durban today, but uh, the snake activity has been really minimal. But I have just received my first call out. Um, there's a guy in Verulam that has uh, um, reported a large-ish brown snake that's gone into a pile of bricks or blocks or something. He says the snake is about a meter long. So I'm not sure if this is going to be maybe a Mozambique spitting cobra or maybe a, just a harmless little brown house snake. But uh, yeah, on my way to check it out, I'll catch you guys that side. Cheers. So I'm about five minutes away from this guy's property and in the meantime, I just wanted to ask a little question here. Um, do you people in other countries also get these terrible things on the road that they call speed humps here in my country? These things over here? Terrible, terrible things. They put them on the roads to keep people from uh, speeding, but they are absolutely everywhere. And it's a real problem for emergency vehicles. Um, I mean, I can understand that they want to keep people from speeding and all the rest. But uh, when there is an emergency, you know, you want your emergency vehicles to at least be able to get to their emergency in good time. And uh, this greatly reduces the response time of any type of emergency service. Your, your fuel economy goes up. You're having to replace your shock absorbers more often. You're having to replace tires. You're using a lot more fuel because you're spending most of the time in first and second gears where you could normally be in fourth or fifth gear the entire way. They're terrible. Do you guys have these in your country? Let me know. natural bush out there guys it is no wonder there are snakes in this area so yeah if you had told me this snake's got like cream uh, stripes by the head, I would say a house snake. No, no, no. But if you say it's by the neck, yeah, yeah, that's definitely a spitting cobra, and it makes more sense because they move around. You know, they would move around in the day, whereas a house snake wouldn't. I don't know if he would have been able to go behind all these bricks. There's not much space, so. But he never come out. Either. So I'm sure he must still be. Uh... Oh, a, like a hole in it. Yeah.
must be in these holes. And this might be an appropriate time to say to all my South African supporters and followers, should you ever bump into me and I'm filthy dirty and I look like I've been dragged backwards through the bush by a bull, this is probably why I look that way. Oh, here he is. He is. What the heck? This is not a yeah, local snake. What the hell are you? That looks like a zebra cobra. Yeah. A western barred spitting cobra. I said, I told my dad. But he was right here, we were about DNA. Hmm. He spat nicely at me there. Alright guys, so I've just found the snake and uh, this is not a local species. This snake has to have climbed up into someone's vehicle and got accidentally transported here. Or it's come in some stock or something that came from, you know, in a truck or something. This looks to me like a western barred spitting cobra although hang on a second that head and that neck is definitely a mozambique spitting cobra but those markings on the body are not they are not typical this is a, a strange strange snake maybe a blimmin hybrid you never know let's get him out and have a better look just want to prod him with something to get him to. Because my tongs can't quite fit in there. And I've got venom all over the phone. Let me just clean this guy so you can see. These snakes always spit on the lens of my camera. Yeah, that's cool. Perfect. I'll grab it for me now. Thanks, mate. Thank you. I just need them to come out of there and then I can catch them. Okay, Cobra. You're going to come out now. You have got the strangest markings on your body. You do not look like any Mozambique spitting Cobra I've ever seen. I want to hurt you. I just want to get you out. Yeah, come out and spit. That's normal. Come on. Yo. Spitting and spitting. This guy's going crazy. Now that is the strangest thing I have ever seen. This looks like a flip, I don't know. <laughs> this looks like a hybrid between a Mozambique spitting cobra and a snouted cobra. There's a lot of snakes there. This is unbelievable. I mean, 
I've never seen anything like this. Oh, but it's so beautiful. Okay, so it's not a western barred spitting cobra like I thought when I saw these barred sort of markings on it. Alright guys, so there we have it. A young, like about a two, three year old snake. And it is a female. And uh, yeah, looks like it's going into the blue, which means it's going to be shedding its skin soon. And I would really like to see what this snake is going to look like with those bands when it sheds its skin. So, let's get it bagged, and I'm going to ask if you've got a basin or tap outside, I just want to wash all this venom off my arms and off my face and off my hands and <laughs> off my camera. Alright, another one in the bag. See you on the next one.